Joel, Joel, where are you? Oh wait, I was just hiding behind my talent. I'm Joel Karlowski, the super brave teacher, the super brave talented teacher. Woohoo! Teacher of the week, teacher of the week. And today we're going to talk about how I hide behind my talent. So before I get to my talents, which are many, many, and how I hide behind them, which is also many, many, I want you to like this video, please. I want you to click Share. I want you to do whatever it takes for you to get the word out that LGBTQ plus teachers and students are awesome and we need visibility and we need equality. So every time you do that, it shifts the narrative. Please join the movement with me. Shift the narrative with me. Click like, click share, click subscribe. Every time you do, I send you some love. You realize how awesome you are. And it really helps. So thank you, thank you. Thanks. So friends, I have some great news. I am KS95's Teacher of the Week. Yay, yay, yay. They came to school. They met all our students. Um, it was so much fun. I got to be interviewed again, and the kids got to be interviewed. I won a TV, like a 43-inch huge TV that I'm still going to figure out what to do with. Resell it, get some money for the class, or me up. And it was awesome. And I was going to do this whole video of how, like, it's great to be recognized and I need to know my worth and all these things and it's okay to be celebrated for who you are, which is all true. Yes, it is all true. You being celebrated for who you are is worth it. Me being celebrated for who I am with these moments is awesome and I definitely, definitely took it in and just took deep breaths while they were there and I was like, enjoy this, Joel. Enjoy this, Joel. This doesn't happen every week, so enjoy it. And I have been. And... As it happened, I was also thinking of how I hide behind my talent. Remember my first YouTube video on this channel for the super brave teacher? I do. Ugh, I love this channel. I said, oh, there's an elephant in the room and it's me. I'm the elephant. And as I sat in that, I realized that for so long in my life, I I knew I was the elephant in the room. I knew that I'm this gay man and I wanted to, to not draw attention to that. So I would showcase all of my talents. And you know, as you get older, you're like, I'm getting older and I'm getting wiser and hopefully more attractive too, thank you. All joking aside, because that's what I do when I talk about serious stuff, I realized that I have all these talents and I have a whole lot of purpose in life. And sometimes I use my talents to distract from my purpose. It's a lot easier for me to show you all the ways that I have great talents as an educator, as a friend, as a husband, as a everything, right? And you do too. You are so talented. I see your talents. Wow, right? And it's so, the, the gift of affirmation. I'm just like distracting right now from the point of what I'm even trying to get. I have these talents and I realized as I'm like being honored with KS95 and getting pictures taken and everyone's writing pieces on me and sharing it and I walk into school and it's like congratulations teacher of the week woohoo which is awesome it's a lot easier to sit in that and be like yeah I'm this talented guy yeah talents 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 but what I do is I start building this wall of talents so much so that I'm building, 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 and who's not there? Who's not being seen? Me. My talent is being seen. My gift of teaching kids to be authentic and validate themselves and be radical people and brave and super brave. But behind that, sometimes I hide so that I don't need to say the hardest words, which is, I am here. My purpose in life is to spark bravery. My purpose in life currently is to make it better today for you, for me, and for these kids. So while it's so nice to put on this t-shirt, which I cut and turned into a workout t-shirt right away, gotta be me, gotta be me, right? And it's so nice to get a TV that's sitting right over there that I'm gonna try to return to Target later. While it's nice to get accolades, I, as the leader who is learning to talk the walk, want to make sure that I keep bringing it back to my purpose, that I'm not using my talents to distract from who I am, which is an out and proud gay teacher. 
I could have, and I'm not putting myself down, I'm learning, I am learning. I could have on, on that interview said, I'm an out and proud gay teacher, and I use that pride to spark pride in other kids. But my head is like, oh, hide behind your talents, they want the, they want the elephant to sing and dance. And I could have said, you know what? I have this awesome YouTube channel called The Super Brave Teacher. Please go online, click online, shift the narrative with me, join the movement with me. And I didn't. I was like, let me tell you how I get kids to do these amazing things. Da, 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 da. Don't worry too much about me. Let me distract. And I'm not even sharing this to be down on myself or to shame myself. I'm doing this because I I'm trying to learn and I am, and I want to spark bravery in myself first and foremost. Because I know that when I'm brave, all of a sudden people's mirror neurons are like, wait a second, he's being brave, I can be brave too. And that's why I'm here. I am here to spark authenticity and bravery in other people. And I'm ugh, getting excited. And I am here to make it better. <sighs> I'm distracting myself again. I'm distracting myself from the purpose. My you see it in my eyes? This is just hard. It's hard for me because this is, these past years of my life have been this authentic path, this journey of trying to be my best authentic self. And it's hard because for the first 26 some years of my life, I did this, I was that elephant and I, it, it was hard, and, but, it, but I did my best. And those are the patterns that I learned. So it's, it's so almost, Oh, I don't even know the word. It's like, it's like piercing me like, Jill, just go back to, to this. Just go back to how much easier it was and how less complicated it was when you could just be talented and that was it. You didn't have to be authentic. You didn't have to show your purpose. So I think I'm just right now wrestling because I know, I know that my purpose is here and I want to share it. And I'm like, not even looking at the camera because it's much easier to be like, let me tell you. Da, 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 da. And living your purpose is really tough. And I'm just really sitting in that. So I guess I'm just going to have this messy disjointed video of me awkwardly looking down because when it gets really serious, it's hard for me. And I'm just going to share that it's hard for me. It's hard for me to live my purpose. It's hard for me to not just hide behind my talents, because I want to, I really want to. I would, it's so much easier to be like, look at me, I'm awesome, get distracted, than to be like, look at me, be there with me, help me, help me discover myself as you discover yourself and join this journey with me. So I guess I'll end this video, this clumsy video, not with me doing like this, woohoo, we are awesome, you, and just say, thanks for being authentic with me, thanks for letting me be my authentic self, what are your talents? What are you hiding behind right now? What is your purpose? I would love for the comment sections to be filled with just you saying my purpose that I'm currently at right now is this. I would love to learn what your purpose is because as I hear more purposes of others, it, it strengthens my purpose and makes me want to continue to live mine. So thank you for being in this messy video with me. Thanks for letting me try to break down the wall of me only showcasing my talents and trying to authentically live my purpose. So I'm gonna say it again, I am here to spark bravery. I am here to make it better today. I don't know yet specifically what that is gonna mean in the future, but I know that doing these videos is worth it. I've been getting so many comments from teachers around the nation and students, students are starting to write too and just say that this channel means a lot to them. So thank you so much. Um, thanks for being there for me as I'm, as I'm living my purpose. I, it's, <laughs> normally I would make a joke right now, normally right now I'd be funny, and right now I'm just in it, and thanks for being in it with me, so you're beautiful, you are loved just for being you, and guess what? I'm beautiful, and I am loved just for being me, so.